So the number of one-shot models becomes quite ridiculous. Today a few friends sent me the link to a new one and here is my impression about Mini GPT-4. Uh, it's super interesting because it's a small peek into real chat GPT-4 with the image backend. I saw my jack and I want to know where it will work and where not. Of course, Mini GPT-4 will be not the same as chat GPT-4 and we don't know the difference yet. But Let's look at this one. By the way, do you think we need more this Gonzo style videos about current models like this one or previous one about segment anything? Let's start. Mini GPT is the model that could answer questions about your image. And it's worked quite well. If we just look at some basics, it's like uh, the model on the top of transformer, uh, of visual transformer with Qformer on top of it. And uh, this Qformer is already look like a blip2 model, few months old, and uh, on the top of this it's Vicuna LLM model that, of course, one of the best open source models right now. So, uh, the result on the official site looks exciting. Uh, they look almost like the result from a video about chat GPT visual backend. It also can construct some website based on the photo. It could describe the images, answer about some jokes about these images, like, uh, I don't remember somewhere. Yes, this one, like, what's the, what unusual in this image? Uh, what is the joke about this image? looks super, no problem at all. But of course the reality it's not exactly the same like it's here. Uh, it works, it works quite good. For example it describes the image but the description is not correct. For example this uh, pizza uh, has not only pepperoni but it has also some bacon and there are no mushrooms and mm, of course the model couldn't count like the pepperoni slices on this pizza uh, and it's almost the same that's a lot of different one-shot models if you want to uh, learn about more there will be a video and article on my channel i hope in a few days where i will compare a lot of different one-shot models but it's a common problem that uh, the model couldn't uh, count exactly uh, the different objects or decide which one they are. Uh, sometimes model uh, start hallucinating and uh, create like mm, incorrect prompt. For example, uh, it says that this uh, bird feeder uh, connected to a tree branch because of course a lot of bird feeders will be connected to a tree branch. This one of course connected to my window. And um, the usual problem sometimes model forget about the input image so uh, here is this question about the bird and the answer are excellent like it could recognize a bird it could recognize the uh, what's inside the feeder works well okay 
let's switch to some unusual uh, coming positions and also it's uh, it's describes the image like almost correctly but uh, it couldn't count the people on this image it's same as it said me that it's only five of them but the correct answer will be like around eight or nine and of course it couldn't answer some specific question about this image uh, same goes to any image with uh, big amount of some objects the model stop working it's work somehow but we didn't even know where the correct uh, what it could count and what it couldn't so uh, it will answer almost all question correct uh, pretty strange but this model will not work with texts so here is a pretty simple sample and then sir incorrect uh, here is also pretty easy sample and the answer also not completely correct but so so uh, it's pretty interesting because here we can find the sample about the website so probably the mm, text recognition it's not the strong part of this specific model uh, the descriptions a lot of description are good and if the image is easy the description will be almost correct if you don't go deep in the detail but the first impression is excellent okay mm. Let's discuss the model uh, properties. And uh, the model is big and slow. Uh, you actually need pretty good GPU and a lot of um, CPU memory to run this model, like more than 100 gigabytes. Uh, but the pretty interesting point is that for training this model, uh, the authors use only four uh, A100 GPU and they train the model less than one day. Of course, they use pre-trained models like pre-trained uh, uh, pre-trained Vicuna model pre-trained uh, Qformer and wheat model so they trained only the part of the pipeline but uh, this idea leads us to uh, understanding that uh, it could be trained on some specific data from specific uh, for specific case and uh, such visual models then it could provide a lot of opportunities in case of like robotics in case of like uh, some communication with uh, people probably in some reception or somewhere where you need a bit of visual information but not some uh, completely correct visual information uh, okay small summary uh, it's not the model for clearly for computer vision it couldn't give you the result about some calculations couldn't give you some specific information of course this you need to train your own model for your specific case it's the same for all one-shot models uh, but it's perform performed quite well for some specific cases but it's not like very common specific cases it's very specific uh, startups very specific uh, themes like I already mentioned like robotics or probably like 
GPT-4 example with uh, uh, where they helped uh, blind people to understand the world around them. For these specific cases, these models, it's excellent. Uh, and this model gives us an opportunity to look at the future and how the stuff will look like. So the model is big, but the training procedure is pretty small and it looks excellent. I hope that the real chat GPT-4 will be better because uh, the current quality is worse in my opinion than some bunch of models but i hope that i hope that it will be better so thank you for your attention bye